All right, welcome everybody here on Twitch and also on YouTube. Uh, we have a sweet looking donation deck that's going to start off our day here today. Uh, and then we're going to be going to some Angels decks after this to kind of see what we like with some different types of Angels decks. Um, but uh, yeah, like this looks really cool. So this is an Abzan aggro deck where we um, are, you know, like we're just doing like our aggro thing, you know, we're, we're pressuring our opponent. We got a good amount of one drops. It looks like our curve's really high from these things, but remember Venerate, Luxodon, and Conclave Tribunal are both Convoke spells. So they don't necessarily cost four and five mana. You know, we can be tapping our creatures to get those out early. And Spawn of Mayhem also uh, has Spectacle for three. So if we get some damage in early, we can actually have Spawn of Mayhem act as a three drop as well. So the only card in here that they're really necessarily always cost four or more mana is the Seraph of the Scales. Um, but I like what we got, we got going here. We're like basically a Pelt Collector deck where there's a lot of different uh, creatures to grow the Pelt Collectors. Growing a Pelt Collector to be a 4-4 four four is uh, pretty vital because once it has three or more 1-1 counters on it, it has Trample. And between Seraph, Spawn, and Venerate Luxon, we have a lot of four power creatures that are cheaper to help grow it. So yeah, this looks this looks pretty good. Um, let's try it out. So the person that donated said that they have been uh, playing it quite a bit and been having a lot of success on, uh, on Arena here. Yeah, I really like this deck too. This deck looks really cool. No, I don't, I don't do drafts on Arena um, here on, on stream. I just do, I just do Constructed. Yeah, we have a lot of good one and two drops, and we have a lot of threats that um, we have a lot of threats that can kind of have like card advantage in them. Like Gutter Bones can keep coming back. Growth Chamber Guardian can replace itself. Tithe Taker makes another body. History Banalia makes multiple bodies. So we have a, we have um, we have some good staying power for an aggro deck. All right, so the, we have green. Our green manas are some petal groves, so we don't get to start with Pelt Collector, but I think that's going to be okay. With uh, we already have a, a turn one drop with the Legion's Landing. Hmm. All right, we're going to sit back and play some defense. We're already behind. So if they attack with both creatures, I guess I have the uh, uh, token block via Sheena Pyromancer, I think. Like, Pulp Collector can grow, which is nice, but if we make the token a 2-2 lifelinker, that's even better for us. But I think I'll still have the token jump in. Um... What are my thoughts on the no sideboard pro format for Arena in March? I don't really have like any super well thought out thoughts or anything. I just just read about that, you know, 15 minutes ago. So it's not, I don't have any I don't have any like you know, it's it's I don't know yet. I I mean, I could say I was disappointed. I I don't like no sideboard games. Like I I don't like it. But that's about all I have right now. Yeah, Matthew, feeling a little better? Yeah, did, didn't stream yesterday, just, you know, had a, a day of rest. Uh, you know, I streamed like 10, 11 days in a row, and, you know, so basically, you know, every like 10 days or so, I kind of want just a, a day of rest, you know, like a, I'm sure y'all know that for working and stuff.
Ugh, they got another firebrand. That's really annoying. Oh, that's a, just such a great draw. I was going to have to just, like, I was going to be playing the Conclave Tribunal this turn on the Lava Runner. That That's honestly what I was going to be doing here. Um, you know, I wasn't going to wait on the Tribunal. I was going to be exiling the Lava Runner. So getting the Seraph of the Scales is a, is a great draw where we have something, uh, you know, else to play. Yeah, we can, you know, like, having it eat a Wizard's Lightning plus a Shock. Um, real good for us. So I'll double block, and they shock one thing. Hmm. Other option is just not blocking. And they hit us for two and then shock us, and we're at nine. I guess we'll go to nine. With them only having one card, I think it's nine safe-ish. Hey, call sign. Uh, no, I don't have any recommendation for Esper Control. I don't. I haven't played very much uh, Esper Control in general. Um. So now it's it's Mayhem or Luxodon is our option here. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really a, a a big control player. Yeah. I want to play Spawn of Mayhem. I do. I really do, just because I like the card so much. But it's just got... I think it's going to be Luxodon. I think it's just a little safer for me to play the Luxodon. But I really wanted to play the Spawn of Mayhem. All right, let's flip this first fort. <laughs> so now we can start making lifelink creatures. to gain life. That's all you want to do against red is gain life. And you know, I guess attacking them and, and stuff is pretty good too. So it wants to tap my Adanta the first fort, so got to manually tap. All right, we're up a game. We got game one against red. No, I'm I'm not going to be one of the top eight ranked people to try to qualify for the for the tournament. Not to be so, not to be way too many best of one games. Um. Hmm. So duress. And. Yeah, there's probably four Takali. Um, I think it's, it's just like a, it's probably just a visual bug. Yeah, see, there's four. Um, so what am I doing against mono red? I mean, spawn of mayhem... Certainly seems a little worse for me. I 
you like Takali for sure against just Viashino Pyromancer. They, they, they're not really the Chain Whirler version. But I guess it blocks well. And yeah, it does block well, which is exactly what we want. I'm just going to do that. I think that's it. I don't I don't want to do too much. Um Actually, I'm going to trim some con two conclave tribunal for two duress. Do you think there'll be a dragon's list that's playable? Yeah, I think so. Uh, a couple of my friends um Back in Texas, just play dragons all the time, and they they've been tuning it ever since RNA's come out. Because I'm in their their text message thread, and it's just after every stream, I have like 50 messages about dragons. So there's people trying at least. Slow hand on the draw. Need black mana. Do I need black mana? I don't know. I'm gonna. I'll keep this on Petal Grove. Some Petal Grove means I don't need a shock on turn two, and I like that. Yeah, this is Ray Tartar's deck that we're playing here. So, Steam Kid was actually a little surprising to me from what we saw the first game. I honestly didn't really think that they were a Steam Kid version. I wasn't expecting Steam Steam Kid Chain Whirler when sideboarding. But of course, they could be playing Steam Kid and no Chain Whirler. That's certainly possible. Well, yeah, usually, like, with all the burn spells in Light of the Stages, usually that's kind of signifying no, uh, no Chain Whirler. It was just, like, a an all-burn version of the deck. But maybe not, you know, could be wrong. Hey, Clum, good evening. Hmm. I don't think it's really beneficial for me to uh, shock. I do like how do you like how you know, Venerate Luxodoning on a Growth Chamber Guardian gets another one. That's pretty cool. Hmm. That's a great card. I'm not really sure where the upside was with waiting on that. And not just casting that while I was tapped out. I guess I play another two mana thing. But I could have, you know, could have been able to... Like, if I just pass and just have Growth Chamber Guardian activation up. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's a lot of, a lot of upside in waiting there. But it certainly worked out for my opponent, though. I'm playing a Black-White Angel deck that's 15-1 over the last three days. Awesome! Yeah, so we got we got 
I'm going to be trying Esper, Naya, and Abzan today. So Seraph of the Scales is like the pretty easy play here. Um, I think the play pattern is like I play Seraph of the Scales, my opponent bolts it. Um, and then I have like a couple 1-1s and then I, I am looking at chumping a 1-1, chumping the 4-4 with a 1-1 and so on. I feel like I can kind of play these two out first where... You know, we get cards out of the opponent's hand, have them use resources, all that kind of stuff. Play Sarah for the skills later. I cast another. Another, or no, just with the one wizard's lightning at me? Okay. So this game's looking really good for us. I think we're going to be 1-0 here in just a little bit. This one's looking great for us. Um, let's play a tight taker. Let's see, we need to tap two creatures. I'll tap two of these one ones to tribunal. All right, well, so far so good with our Abzan aggro deck. All right, we are one and O. Oh. And we got 350 gold. It must have been a really impressive win, getting all that gold. Huh. Thanks, Zini. Hey, Yahweh and Abby Mose. Welcome, y'all. All right. Let's see. We are facing the Rainmaker. Well, yeah, we'll have we'll have uh, abs yeah abs and angels will also ha have like Vivian and the angels as well. Wow, this this looks pretty good. You know, we don't have the black mana for Seraph, but we have a nice one, two, three here. But I guess I guess Abzan's even after Naya though. Yeah, we got an Angel's Day today. Lasso Angels. 
do a wild growth walker. Is Wizards of the Coast killing paper magic? Um, certainly doesn't seem to be their priority. At all, but I'm not sure if that's killing it though. Uh, this is Electric Guest. This head I hold. Yeah, this this deck that we're playing right now is Abzan Agro. We're we're gonna be playing three Angels decks after this. This one right here is not an Angels deck. Not looking good. Do we have enough black sources in our deck? I mean, this is all obviously a very small sample size, but it's two games in a row where we struggle with black. Four, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. There's only twelve black sources in the entire deck. Yeah, we're we're gonna play a lot of games where we don't draw black. With only twelve of them. How this thing goes is up to you, Val. The wilds are my shield. Certainly prefer like a that number to be like around like fourteen at least. I mean we're just dead, right? I don't know, maybe we're not dead. Alright, attacking Vivian. Yeah, I was going to be playing Mardu Angels also, but we got a, a skip the line donation. So, bumped Mardu Angels. Because uh, we played that deck the most so far. Have to do better All right, we need that. this Adanto the first fort to do just a ton for us. All right, Zach says, "Hey Todd, great stream so far. My first GP coming up soon in Memphis, and I've been I've talked to several major Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon tournaments. Come to and me. qualified for the Pokemon World Championship, but anything in particular about major MTG events I need to know about? Probably not. Um, there's nothing, there's nothing too special about major MTG events. Um, day two, and actually I'm not sure, this this honestly may have changed. This was how it was like, you know, two years ago and last year, but it may have changed for this year. Okay, just get down. Um, day two is held to a higher standard as far as rules and enforcement level than day one is. But it's it's not much of a change. It's nothing I would really worry about. Oh yeah, we have twelve black sources for spawn of mayhem. Okay, never mind. We need more like fifteen black sources. I don't I don't know how we get more black sources, but we need like three more for yeah, for forgot we have spawn of mayhem in here. Alright, so we're getting the the honor guards in. You have fourteen in your in yours? Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I have I have thirteen here. Oh, this is an older version. Okay, I gotcha. Gotcha. We got an older version. Why do you just want to sit here and just sit here on the table and bite me, Hawkeye? What are you doing? Um, what 
What else do I want besides Honor Guard? Tribunal comes out. Mortify is going to be a little better for us. Trophy can answer Vivian, though. Tribunal is good against the... It is better against the... Um, whatever it's called. I guess if I'm bringing in Honor Guard, I'm supposed to be cutting Luxodon, aren't I? All right, let's go ahead and mulligan. Okay, we got good mana here. All right, this this hand's looking pretty good for us. Okay, which card's better, Wizards Lightning or Skewer the Critics with with the standard eight Wizards in the deck? I think I would lean towards. I think I'd lean towards Wizard's Lightning with it being instant speed. Fifteen black, twelve green, and fifteen white. You can't have twelve green either. These one and two, two mana green. It's tough. I th we probably do just need another land. Like I don't think we can. Yeah, I'm thinking 22 is just not enough lands. Skewer is not an instant. Skewer is a sorcery. I can certainly see playing 23 or 24 in this deck, though. Let Meet my newest friend. Alright, so that's probably our... Um... Mortify target. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and go with double growth chamber guardian here, so I can, you know, put a, a good amount of pressure on the battlefield. Uh, next turn, and you know, just use my mana. Next turn, I can legions landing plus either activate a, a growth chamber guardian or cast a mortify. Um, you know, it just works out pretty well with the two two and then Balance and so on. Comes. The big thing is is our opponent could have finality here, which you know would be a bummer. But nothing I can really do about that. There's, you know, it's still just trading. It's trading two for two. Vivian's just a messed up card. You can't stop nature. We need to draw Takali Honor Guard to shut off these Chupacabras. We're not going to beat that card. Alright, so we, we didn't have very good hands, and we got completely ran over by Sultai. That can happen. Thanks, Zach. Yeah, I was off yesterday. I took a day off. Um, 
to, you know, to rest or recharge. All right, Maestro. Hmm. Yeah, 22 lands isn't looking like enough. Growth Chamber Guardian, you gotta be really good. This Growth Chamber Guardian's gotta... Hold us, hold the fort down. Grixis control. That's the thing. Um, oh, thanks, nineteen sixty pal. Uh, um. Or, I guess, I don't know if thanks is the right word, but yeah. Um, yeah, so, yeah, we're having the worst luck here. I mean, kind of. Three colors with 22 lands is just, it's tough. Like, it certainly happens, and it's kind of hard to have, you know, like, green one and two drops, and then double white, double black cards at three stuff okay so it's not it's not um it's not Grixis control we got is it drakes yeah I would I would rather play 24 than 22 lands that is because they're there are like some ways to use the mana too with Growth Chamber Guardian and uh, um, Adanto, but needing the different colors and you know wanting to hit three or four lands, it's kind of rough. But to be fair, like this isn't this is not a an uncommon thing. I would say almost every single donation deck I do, a very very high percentage of them, you know like. 75% or more the best thing to change about the deck is adding in another land I think it's it's really common it's probably the most common uh, thing I've noticed about decks is people don't play enough lands so whatever whatever deck you have you probably need another land in it whatever deck you're playing right now um, if you're playing you know like these you when you're doing regular magic best two out of three You don't need as many lands in best of one, though. Um, because of how the best of one fixes the the hands for you. So, if I venerated Luxit on these things, I should have attacked with that. I was just kind of debating and, and talking, so yeah, I should have probably attacked with that, but I guess I, I wanted to... I don't know. I, I do want to venerate Luxit on these. I guess I, could, I can wait another turn and just kind of do the same thing I just did. Uh, if I would have just played, like, Growth Chambers out, and then I could have just played, like, my one Growth Chamber and then Luxit on, but then there are only three threes, and three threes can't get, get through four toughness. I should have attacked with that Girl Chamber Guardian last turn, though, but we're all good. Uh, the Black Splash I don't think is for Bolas. I think the, the Black Splash is for the, the second pa half of Discovery.
That's a good point. They have they have thought erasure. That's a good point. Yeah. So yeah, play the spawn of mayhem first to play around the syncopate that we already saw. So yeah, no, maybe it is just it's just kind of Grixis control with crackling drakes, as like something that's kind of a quicker clock. You think the opponent should double block? I mean, double block still lets me trade the guardian for a drake, which is exactly what I wanted to do. Yeah, this is not just a splash. This is just Grixis control. Do you have any tips for the gate deck versus dinosaurs? Huh. Um. Yeah, I guess if they have they have too big a creatures for you to gates ablaze, it doesn't happen very often. Um. Yeah, if you're you're struggling with the big creatures there, huh? And then um. Yeah, I mean, you just have Gates of Blaze. You have your your Guardian, the 8-8. I don't know. I guess you just kind of have those things. There's not, like, really a whole lot for you to do. You can have, like... Uh, you know, like, mass manipulation to be able to steal the creatures and things like that. There's not a whole lot for you to do, though. Um, I don't really have any hot opinions or hot takes or anything on the the invitational list. It looked perfectly fine to me. But I didn't look at it too much. I just saw something about it right whenever I was starting to stream. Great draw. Good job, deck. It's a great part about the 22 lands, though. See if we have 23 or 24 lands. No! Say so maybe we draw a land there. Uh oh. Get rid of some more lands. Wow. Yeah, unfortunately, these, all these creatures are going to be 4 threes. So all they need to do is attack. History of Benali is a really good card. I should, I should start playing that card. That History of Benali card looked pretty sweet. Alright, so we get our duresses in. I'm not really sure if this is an unbreakable formation matchup. They uh, likely don't have 
too many sweepers. You know, like this card's amazing against sweepers, but they're they're not really a sweeper deck. And their sweeper may be like Cry of the Carnarium. I mean, you know, Ritual of Sit is like the card they could have, but maybe they don't. I don't think this is an unbreakable formation matchup. Um I do want to bring in these duresses though. And I like our removal. I like the tribunals. Maybe Luxodon is our worst card. That seems weird. Legion's Landing, though, if we... Legion's Landing is pretty important because if we flip it, it's awesome. But we're going to see Trimming 1. Let's get a Luxodon back in here. Like, f flipping a Legion's Landing early, if we can do that, it's like, you know, it's it's like our best card. But yeah, if we, if we don't flip it, you know, it, it doesn't do anything, which is certainly fair. I mean, I guess this is a... Bloodfast matchup, maybe? I don't know. They, they're kind of, a, you know, a little aggressively slanted for their control deck. Why is Legions better than Dawn in here? Dawn is very mana intensive. You have to spend a whole lot of mana to be able to get 1-1s with it. Legions Landing um, is just a, a card that you get to play early. Um... Oh yeah, we were on a mold of five that game, weren't we? Yeah, we were on a mold of five. You know, you get your one-one right away for your one mana, and then you get to start using your convoke spells, and it's like a one-one that can hit your opponent with spectacle and things like that. All right, this looks better. We're not, like, this is an aggressive deck that doesn't want to, like, wait till the really long game to, like, where you're spending four mana on a 1-1 one, one kind of thing. Like, we want to have our, we want to have our 1-1 one, one out right away. So like Dawn of Hope, we would play after Guardian and take Taker. We'd wait till a while after that and then start spending four mana. Where this Legion's Landing gets something out right away. I led with the Growth Chamber Guardian even though you know I couldn't put a counter on it right away or anything. Uh, because it forced them to have the removal spell on turn two. Um, it's not like I'm, I'm not close to having five mana of like playing Guardian and activating it. So I'm um, forced them to have their removal spell right away. Hey, hot outside today. I missed you yesterday too. Zero born, good afternoon. Yeah, that was our best possible draw. That was a, we've had a couple of those. We had like the Seraph of the Scales, which is best possible draw, but our opponent had Lava Coil last game, and now we have history. Yeah, that was a great one. We are really good against their one for one removal plan. You know, that's their plan of being just playing one for one removal spells. We are good against that. They can, of course, play like Nickel Bolas, make us discard, but then we'll just mortify it in response. So, so you know, we don't need to keep another card in hand to like save the mortify from a discard spell like that kind of thing. 
Should I worry about Ascanta if my opponent is using back Bant Nexus? Um, I mean, yeah, like, like, Ascanta's a, a really powerful card. Well timed to rest there, getting that Angrath out of there. Duress was awesome. Our opponent's not drawing lands either, so like they just have lots of lots of spells too, it looks like. Okay, there's a land. What does Thief of Sanity get for our opponent? Yeah, that makes sense. You're not you're not winning a long game against Bant Nexus, so focusing on killing the opponent is when your mono red is certainly where you want to be. They're not just taking eight, are they? I assume they're chump blocking here. Okay. Well, that block's really good for us. You know, so they're down to Thief of Sanity and nothing. This is looking good. Wow. Wow. They gotta do that to us again? Same as last time? Um, I... No, I don't do ranked ladder stuff. I do the... The regular... Uh... Best of five. Or like... Standard, like, win five or lose two, sorry. Event. That's really good, too. Well, we got Thief of Sanity out of there. So we're looking uh, pretty good. With just Adanto. This is why I didn't want to cut all the Adantos, though, like, or all the uh, Legion's landings, because we certainly need it. All right, so much for looking good. Yeah, do you have any questions, Soapface? I don't, I don't really have, like, I don't really have anything to say. Um. I guess blocking or not block, yeah, blocking still just made sense, because they would just be able to to ping that blocker later, saving the six life while we could make make sense. Uh, I don't I don't like how Wizards is pushing best of one really hard. I don't like it. I don't I don't like playing best of one too much.
So if I attack out, my Gutter Bones and Venerate Luxodon are dead. And they go to one. And I can replay Gutter Bones and, and Tithe Taker. Or I can wait... Play Tithe Taker. That's true. If I don't attack, I could die next turn. That is certainly true. It'd be pretty hard for me to die next turn, right? I guess they need to get like a draw spell a draw sp spell. If I attack them down to one though, can I finish this game off? And I, I kinda think the answer is no. They if they get any removal spell, I do not finish them off. So I, I actually am not gonna attack here. I don't really see I don't really see me winning with attacking here. Or I don't think it's my best chance. Probably need a little bit more removal. Their threats are... They got some really, really important, expensive threats. That Venerate Luxodon saved us. To get to... To get to these cues, you need to hit a switch that doesn't look like a switch. It looks like a looks like a logo. Um, it's around the area of where this deck box is on the screen. It's around that area uh, on the main screen. I just what is wrong. And trim one spawn and mayhem for another mortify. Got my expensive card that the removal kills. <laughs> Alright, we got good mana. Got a nice opener. I like my turn two being another pelt collector. Um, you know, we'll kind of see what we draw. I'd like to be able to wait until turn five to play the Growth Chamber Guardian if possible. I will want to play it and activate it before it gets removed. Perfect. That's perfect. I'll just... Yeah, I'll just play that. That also incentivizes me to play my white mana, which I, I wanted to play a white source here anyway because of the potential to draw a history banalia for turn three. Well, that was unfortunate. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Rest in peace, Tide Taker. Gone too soon. True. All right, hopefully no sweeper. We haven't seen any sweepers from them at all, though, so it's not something I was, like, really expecting. Hmm. tough. Really wanted that growth chamber guardian. We can draw another one though. Well, dang. Really nice thought erasure. Really nice turn. All right, history. We're back in it. Play a guardian as a one of, they'll never see it coming. I think I think I played against an opponent that only had two guardians once. Cause like you know they they had their second guardian and they activated and adapted and just didn't e didn't even go search. And you know, didn't have like other cards in hand. Like you know, they had like no cards in hand and this guardian was like, nah, I don't want to search. Hmm. Alright, is it worth sacrificing a knight to flip landing? When next turn the knights could be four threes. Hey sculpt of mine, yeah, feeling 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 better. No, I'm not I'm not planning on doing any ranked. Promise not to fade away. We didn't do it. Flipping first forward is like our best chance of winning this game, I think. And all we're doing is, and we also get three points of damage in, and all we're doing is turning a 2-2 two -two into a 1-1 one -one here. Uh, no, I, I don't really care that much about the ranked stuff. So now I want to say I'm excited. Sometimes you just gotta give it up to your opponents. We've had ran into two opponents that have um you know not stumbled at all and been able to play good things on curve basically every turn of the game through, you know, turn this is like turn seven or something. You know, just just every turn they're they're casting multiple spells. Or putting in huge dragons. That's pretty good. 
and sometimes you just gotta give it up to your opponent. Good job, opponent. Okay, so we only won one, but I, you know, like, this is a really small sample of just three matches. Um, sure, I get rewards. I guess, I guess I didn't get rewards. Um, that was a super small sample. You know, I... I don't think that just because we went 1-2 that our deck's not good. I think I do like this deck quite a bit. I, we need another we need another land. And Ray Tarter was saying they're already working on getting another land in here. Um, Paul Collector was okay. Gutter Bones didn't seem so great. It's kind of hard to have... like my My problem here is... We have the early green and then double white, double black. And I think that's kind of tough on the mana. I think we need like one color as like more of a splash color. We we never got to spawn a mayhem, which this card's awesome. It's really strong. Uh, it wouldn't necessarily have been so good in, in our games we were losing though, because you know, Grix has had all the removal in the world, so they would have been able to just kill it. And we lost to Sultai that had um, early Vivian. Uh, both times. So you cut the Mortify? See, I like having some interaction like that. I'm, I don't really want to cut Mortify, but I guess if we're supposed to be aggro... Kind of feels like we need uh, like one more like two drop. Or or three drop, like two or three drop, which I guess spawn is supposed to be our three drop. Yeah, honestly, do we really need green? Honestly, that's that's probably the thing that's that's honestly probably why I don't really love is just having the green. Like maybe maybe we just make this a black white aggro. And have a lot better mana. I don't know exactly. Like Growth Chamber Guardian is, is certainly a, a card that's kind of rough to to lose. Like it's a it, that's a really good two drop, especially with Venerate Luxodon. But I kind of like which what we have going here with like Tithe Taker, History Spawn, Sarah, Venerate Luxodon. I like that stuff. Honestly, it'd probably just make the deck better to get rid of green. Um. But I'm not sure, like, you know, this could be like a Danto Vanguard. Yeah, Danto Vanguard would be kind of fine. Yeah, I kind of like that. Maybe just an Orzov with like a, yeah, like a Danto Vanguard is good when you Lux it on it. Yeah, try try testing that out. And, uh... Hmm. You know, there's, of course, like we've seen with the mono white aggro decks, there's lots of other one drops you can be playing in white. You know, there's there's a ton of them that you can be playing in white. Yeah. Yeah, the three colors are just kind of kind of a little rough. But yeah, so there we go. Uh, that was our first deck of the day, Abzan Aggro. If you're watching this later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned to all the new videos that we put out there. Uh, the next decks are going to be some Angels decks. Hope you tune on over to those after this. Uh, but thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.